Hey guys, it's Rebecca from Yarn and Pajamas, and I'm coming on here with a um, Saturday shopping video. So on Saturday, me and my friend Danette went to the Christmas exhibit at the Botanical Gardens in Fort Wayne. And later this week, I will be putting um, clips of that in to my Vlogmas. I just, um, it's a lot and I've just not really wanted to edit it. So I will, I am working on it and I will get that put in later this week. But we did hit some thrift stores and an antique mall while we were out and about in Fort Wayne. And I thought that I would show you guys what I got there real fast. So the first thing is from the Botanical Gardens gift shop. Just wanted to show you guys real fast. I got a magnet because I love me some magnets. I'm gonna stick that on the fridge. Got me a little tchotchke for my desk at work. And it is a little cardinal figurine. Isn't he so cute? Um, I've not seen the red birds at work on the feeders here lately. We did have two, um, a girl and a boy that were hanging out, but now I mostly see, um, the woodpeckers. We've got the, the hairy woodpecker, the redheaded woodpecker, and we have like it looks like a woodpecker, but it's a sap sucker, I think. I don't know. I've got my handy dandy bird book at work. I look them up in. Then, you know, we have the nut hatches and the tufted titmouse and the chickadees that are um, very prominent right now. So, the next thing I got is some car coasters. So, I love these things. Um, putting them down in your cup holders of your car. It helps absorb, absorb moisture. So I got this one that says, don't hurry, be happy. I like that. I thought it was so cute with the little slot on it. And then the other one I have just says spread kindness. I really liked that. I have, um, Christmas ones in there right now. There's a snowman and I believe a cardinal on like a wintry scene. Right, hold on just a second. Let me pick this stuff up real fast. Don't watch it. My nose is going to start running. So I did have to stop by Hobby Lobby as well and I picked up some poinsettia, some fake poinsettia flowers for the porch. I still had my fall bunches in this big um, pot stand container thing, like plant container. So I put some fake poinsettias in that and then I found um, this little Christmas tree. I, it lights up. I just thought it was kind of cute. I thought I would get it it about. I thought it was kind of neat. Okay, so then the next place we went was a store called Vintage Treasures, and it's like one of those antique malls where people have all the different booths and stuff. And one of the things that I've been trying to keep my eye out for is um, pieces that I can add to my Willow Tree Nativity set. And I've really been looking for like, um, some angels. So I did find, I'm gonna lean over here and get them, two angels at the nativity, not at the nativity, at the vintage treasure. We have her and she is the angel of light. So I really liked her. And then I found this one. Oops, and she is the angel of prayer. So I am going to, which I've already settled over 
with my nativity. So I'm gonna put those back here in just a minute. I would still like to find like a tall angel, not like taller than Joseph, but like, you know, taller than these ones. <clears throat> the next thing that I have is a fairy lamp. And this one is, um, from what I can gather, it's made by Ellie Smith. And the pattern on it is called Moon and Stars. And this one is a true red one. So you can see it's red. As I was saying, it's a true red. It's not like flashed on there. So I picked that up. I do have an amber one that is in the same pattern, the moon and stars. I would like to start collecting them. Um, another thing I think, oh, oh, I did, I got one more thing from um, the Hobby Lobby, sorry. It's a package of those car um, coasters and it says having a ball and it's got a ball of yarn like as a hot air balloon and travel and unravel and the ball of yarn is like the glow. Thought those were cute. So the next thing I got, I found um, several packages of these um, vintage Coca-Cola Christmas coasters. I found this stack. Oops, I dropped one. This stack, which is got, you know, the same Santa as there. And then this stack as well. I thought they were cute and they were not very expensive. So I picked those up. And then the last thing I got is a blow mold. And it is by Empire Plastic Corporation and it's from 1963. It's made in the USA and it's this small Santa. Now I would love to have a huge Santa like Angelia has. And I did see Angelia from Crocheting House Mouse. And I did see one of those huge Santas. But boy, did he pack a hefty, hefty price on him. So I was like, nope, I'm going to have to pass on him. But I could afford this one. So I got the miniature version instead. But I think he is so cute. He did not come with a lot. So I'm going to, to stop at the Menards tomorrow when I am going to the dentist and get him a light and then I'm gonna set him over here in the corner and I'll eventually show you guys. I'm gonna set him with Mrs. Jolly George because I don't have a Mr. Jolly George yet and I don't want her to be lonely. So I'm gonna set him over there with her. And that is it. That is all that I have on my shopping trip to show. Oh no, I have one more thing. Oops. So we went to a, it was some kind of thrift store. I can't remember what the name of it is. We stopped there first. And I saw this and knew that I had to have it. Sorry about the crinkling because it matches my glass stuff that I have. There's so many pages. But it is a glass nativity set. So let me see if I can get everybody here. So here's Mary. Here's the baby Jesus. He's still got the price tag on him. So now the set was marked as $2.99. So $2.99 was on the bottom of baby Jesus and nothing else. Well, when I got up to the checkout, he, the girl's like, oh, this can't be just $2.99. And I'm like, well, it's a nativity set, so I'm assuming that it's $2.99. And so the guy that was standing there was like, no, I don't think it's $2.99 either. And I was like, but it's a nativity set, so, and there's none of the other pieces were marked. And he was like, well, how about I just give it to you for $4.99? 
And I really liked it, so I went ahead and said yes, but I was like, you guys marked it at $2.99 for the set. No other pieces were marked. No other nativity sets, even the pieced ones, were individually priced. They were all just one price. So, but I didn't want to argue. So, baby Jesus, Mary, um, this looks like Joseph, and then we have the three wise men. So I really wanted it to go with my, you know, all of my glass figurines that I have over there. Yeah. Okay. So now that truly is all of the things that I bought on my Saturday shopping. Minus one that I, I probably could show because my sister Margaret doesn't watch my videos. But I did buy her a Christmas gift um, that she won't get until probably in the spring because that'll probably be the next time I go down there. Um, and it's glass or I would ship it. So, But on the off chance that she does watch it, I'm not going to show it. But I will take a picture of it and show you guys after she gets it if anybody's still interested. Okay, well, that's all that I have. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in vlogmas bye okay guys sorry but i have one more thing to show you i forgot all about it but it is this vintage candle set i remember my um my mom had a few of these when i was younger so when i saw it i knew that i had to have it and it does, it has the orange bulbs. Those were the ones I remember in her candle set. And here it is. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about this. Oh, wow. This is the first time I've took it out and looked at it. But yeah, I'm so excited. It still has the, um, the little thing on it as well so yeah so this is a it says sterling let's see if there's anything right on the bottom i don't think so nope so i don't really know anything about it the box doesn't really say anything it just says number e so it still has its box the box is in not good shape it is um falling apart actually like there was a piece fell off as i was putting it in the core um yesterday when we were out shopping so so yeah. so i have this sterling a five candle complete with lamps and cord gleaming plastic set Okay, now this truly is the last of the stuff that I bought. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.